Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it if you are new to my channel. My name is Christine and if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Today I'll be showing you guys how to change your iPhone home screen into the Nook phone screen as you can see in Animal Crossing and if you already know some of the steps to customize your iPhone, I will link the timestamps for each step that I do so you can just skip to whichever step you need to go to. Before this intro gets any longer, let's just head right into the video. So here I have my iPhone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro and I have the boba case because I love boba. So you have your phone and then I'll start screen recording. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to download and install the iOS 14 update. So you just click on settings and then you scroll down to the general. From there, you can click on software update and then it will say your software is up to date if you already have it or if not then it'll just say download and install so for step number two you just have to download the widget smith app i'm sure like in all the videos it tells you that you have to download widget smith it's just really convenient because everything's there so i just typed in widget smith and usually it's the first one it's an icon with the blue square so you click on that you download that and i also downloaded color widgets i'm also going to be using this app to customize my animal crossing nook home screen page and i also downloaded photo widget is this icon with the square inside with green yellow and red mixed together i haven't really used photo widget yet so this app is optional for me so i would just get the first two the widget smith and the color widgets after you type widget smith all three will pop up widget smith color widget and photo widget so it's all there for you to download and just play around with it to see which one you like the best because it's your aesthetic and it's up to you to create what you want to create. So just play around with it. That's how I learned how to set up my homepage. Next, I'll be showing you guys how I was able to put the Animal Crossing icons on the Nook phone into my home screen icons. And how I did that was I went to Safari. And then from there, I Googled iPhone Animal Crossing icons to see what popped up. And I found this cool link on Reddit. So it popped up on like my Google search and there was a link for the icons download in a Google Drive. So I clicked on that so thank you Ingpug one that's the username on the reddit website for this download link the icons are so cute they look exactly the same as the one animal crossing since i wanted to replicate the nook phone i tried to follow the pattern of how the phone was laid out so the first one i believe was the camera on google drive i clicked on camera and then i clicked the download icon and then after that it will be like do you want to download the nookcam.png so you can view or download it actually i just click view and i go to the box with the arrow at the bottom from there you can just scroll down to save image if we go back to our photos and go to your recent your icon should be there you have to swipe down you go to shortcuts these are all the shortcuts that i have for the apps that i mostly use and i'm going to be adding more because i actually have like eight pages of apps and it's going to take a while for me to download it i know this is really tedious but i think it's really cute for the icon it's really fast to do once you get the hang of it so from the shortcuts page you press the plus button the upper right hand corner you press add action scripting which is the x in the gray black circle you open the app and then you choose which app you want to change your icon to. So I want to do the camera app. After this, you click on the three dots in the dark blue bubble in the upper right hand corner. And then from there, it should give you details and then your shortcut name. So I want my shortcut name to be camera. So I like to space it out because I think it's really aesthetic, especially on the iPhone screen. So select all copy so you don't have to space it out all over again and then add to home screen. You change the name to camera and then after next to where you typed it you click on the icon there and then you choose photo and then from there you can just go to your recents and then you can click on camera this is already in a square so it fits perfectly into your icon square and then you click ok and then add that and then it should say add it to home screen press done you already have another camera shortcut please choose another name i already have it but it should have already been added when you finish creating your icon don't forget to delete the original camera camera app so just don't delete it but move it to the app library for example if i already finished making my animal crossing icon for my target app i can just hold down the original target app and then i can click on edit home screen i'll click the minus on the left hand corner of the target icon and i don't press delete app but i'll just move it to the app library the target icon isn't deleted it's just when you scroll to the left it'll be in your app library and you can find it so i can just type in 
the app library search target and it'll be there so it's not deleted so just make sure you don't delete it because it'll delete all your content and i don't want you to lose everything that you have in your app so that's how i created my ammo crossing icons for my home screen next up i'll be showing you guys how i was able to put this quote up into a medium-sized widget as you can see i have a quote in the upper left hand corner it says and i remember that bad times are just times that are bad i thought this was so cute because it's so true we all have our bad days and it's just nice to know that that bad day isn't going to be there forever it's just that one day you have it and you move on i have bad days all the time i hate it but that's life i thought this quote was something i relate to a lot and this was actually in the same google drive download folder that i downloaded off of reddit so i just go back to my safari page i still have the google drive file that i clicked on i click on the quote picture and then the download icon i just viewed it and then you can just save that image i already did this quote so i'll show you guys another example of another quote that you can do for your widget so for this one i googled up animal crossing quote wallpaper aesthetic i'm pretty sure that's what i put and i found this cute quote that says belief in yourself get it belief and he sells leaves and bushes and plants i thought that was so funny and cute you can just hold it down add it to your photos after you save it you go to your photos and for some reason you have to make it a new album because if you keep it in your original album it won't work for some reason so just make it a new album so i'll just say new album and i'll say i don't know animal crossing and then save and then there's your new album and then from there i can look up widget smith so we're finally getting to use the apps that we downloaded you can choose between a small widget just the square that takes up about four icons on your home screen for the medium widgets it takes up about two rows on your home screen and i haven't tried a large widget yet but i'm pretty sure it takes up like half your phone screen or more than half i'm not sure yet but people say this widget's pretty huge but that's why it's called the large widget so i want to add a small widget so i just press add small widget and a small number four widget will pop up so that's your new widget so i'll click on that and then i'll click on the middle box so it says default widget i think this is really cool because there's like different styles that you can choose for me i just want the widget to be my quote so i just go to the customizations in the style which is in the middle of the style page and then i'll click on photos and album it says selected album and i'll choose that album that i place my quote in so i scroll all the way down and then i put my quote in animal crossing ac i go back to small number four it should have replaced the small number four picture that was there originally i'll press save it should pop up from there i just held on the home screen and then i press the add button the top left hand corner i scroll all the way down to widget smith since i'm adding a small widget i'll just click on the small widget but if you're adding a medium or large widget you just have to scroll to click whichever widget you want to add so i add the small widget it'll have my cute widget and it says belief in yourself oh my gosh that's so cute i love it oh my gosh maybe i'll put this on my third page also when i first did this it didn't change automatically to this widget so how you edit your widgets is you just hold on the widget you click edit widget and then from there it'll say widget and your small number you can just click on another one so small number two i'll save it to your small number two or whichever widget you want to choose from last but not least i have my color widget so how i got this color and this battery and this overall color scheme is you swipe down and you search color widgets and there it is so it has all these cute different widgets for you to choose from the thing about this is it's very limited so how i went about this was i clicked on the most aesthetic one that i think would match my animal crossing theme i scrolled all the way to the bottom and i like this one because it's cursive and it's really aesthetic and the background is like a nice like white color so i thought i could change it to a cream color i clicked on that widget i click edit widget you can change like the different colors i went to background photo i actually downloaded this wallpaper that's a cream color and i clicked on that and then that's how i got my color widget once i set my widget it will save you just have to hold down on your home screen press add in the upper left hand corner you click on color widgets and then from there you can just add your widget as a small medium or large let's try a large i haven't tried a large widget so that's how big a large widget is it matches my theme so how i got the color for the color widget background i went to the same google drive file that i showed you guys and it was actually a wallpaper so it's the first one it says home.png and then i just clicked on it and then save view saved it 
So before I forget how I made my Animal Crossing wallpaper was I actually found it on Reddit. So it's this Reddit link that I'll send to you guys. I hold down the wallpaper. I click add to photos. You go to your photo. You go to that wallpaper that you just saved and then you click the arrow in the bottom left hand corner and then you scroll down to use as wallpaper you can put your zoom on or your zoom off i think it's the same either way you just have to set your lock home screen and then from there you'll get your wallpaper and there you have your newly designed nook phone yay i'm so happy for you guys for the other icons, I literally just googled it and saved whatever images that I could find that represent my icon the best. Like Messenger, I used like these two best friends. And then for Snapchat, I looked up the ghost in Animal Crossing and I used that as my icon. I'll also link the pictures that I use for my icons as well in the description below. And apparently on Twitter, there's a creator who was nice enough to let you download her animal crossing icons that she made so i'll also link that too i didn't use any of them but i'll link it for you guys i actually feel like i'm missing a few things to say but if i missed a step or you're confused with whichever step you're working on please feel free to message me or comment below that's all i had for my nook phone customization now i'll be moving on to tips and tricks that come with the ios 14 update i already showed you guys this tip but i think this is really cool you can just hold down the home screen and then it'll enter jiggle mode is what i believe it's called because before i think you had to hold down the icon in order for the jiggle mode to pop up but now you can just hold down the home screen but you can also hold down the icon as well and then you can add an edit delete move stuff around my next tip is that once you hold down the home screen you can press the three four however many pages dots you have at the bottom and from there you can hide and show which pages you want to show on your iphone so if i want to show all my pages i'll just check mark all the pages that i want to show at the bottom of the page page in edit pages and then it'll show all my tabs that i didn't even organize yet i only organized the two pages so i'm just going to hide those i would just be left with my two aesthetic nook phone pages but it'll always be in your app library another tip about your app library is that all your apps are there despite hiding it from the home page or hiding it from your actual pages and in the app library is alphabetize or you can just type it in like if i want wells fargo i'll type in wells fargo and it's there so i think that's pretty cool also in the app library your apps are organized by what they represent and one downside of the app library is that you can't customize it yourself because for utilities for my youtube tracker i would rather put that in creativity than utility the three medium size squares inside your square I don't know how to explain this but once you click on it, it automatically go to your app or if you click the four small squares in the bottom right hand corner it'll show you all your apps if that makes sense i know that's kind of confusing but once you play around with it you'll get the hang of it another tip when you make your icon is that it won't show your notifications so in messages i have all these messages but it just won't show how many messages i have this is my favorite thing about the update is that you can search for emojis because i always have trouble finding the emoji i want so if i want sushi i can just type in sushi and it'll be there that's all i have for this video if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i hope this video made it more simpler for you and i hope to see you guys next time I'm in